So uh, this is like the third time we're using this hub tool, right? Second. And this is the weak point of our new screw press hub tool. I don't know if you can see that. So here's the engineering flaw with this, right? Look how weak the material is here yeah, and here. How little material there And is. here. So these engineers need to step their game up. Uh, and this thing is going to fail the rust belt test of getting hub bearings out for not being engineered well. So, what, it's really what is the name of that thing? I got it from Amazon. Let's You're see. The one who it. I don't... Wheel bearing rust tools. Open sesame. Oh, look, there's our uh... hub buster. Yep, we got hub that. Buster. Saver. Wheel bearing, hub bearing, put in hub bearing, Jude, hub. Bam! Wheel hub removable, durable. So here's the flaw. It's too flimsy. Well, that's not the right one. It's the same. It's the same. I bought the more universal one. That one actually doesn't looks like it would probably be better. It's the same crap. I what do you mean? I disagree. It's the same cut. Look at it. It's the it. same cut. It's less holes though. Yeah, but you see the thin spots right yeah, here. Here's where, the, here's where the studs right, are going to go. And right look where it here, folds. Right here. Right here would get fucked. But I mean, out here there's way more. Let's see. Material. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So what I was thinking is we just buy the other one that, ha that I got from Amazon. And yeah. weld it together and double plate it, but this oh, needs to be remachined to make that thicker in there. Oh, Actually, if they make it out of better metal, I would even buy it. The only problem is, is that uh, we give this the studs may not be long. We give enough. this the the uh, the Cut fail test for the rust belt. The, uh, Thanks for watching. May not be long enough.